All right, so this, so this video is going to be about targets 9 and 10, which is acquired versus an inherited trait and mutation. So first of all, I'm going to figure out where my, okay, a mutation is a change or mistake. change or mistake in the DNA code. Okay. Now, so we're talking like a one letter change, so one letter changes from A to C and then that doesn't match with the T that's there. So that causes a different protein to be made and that may not work. And so mutations can sometimes, when that change happens, sometimes they can be helpful, sometimes they can be harmful and sometimes they have no effect. So for example, helpful might be that it helps uh, their coloring, like in an animal, their coloration is a little bit different. And then uh, when they have that different coloration, it's darker and it helps them to camouflage better. Harmful might be a disease. So it changes like, pro, um, there's a disease called progeria where a one letter base change makes a different protein and that protein causes people to age faster. Or that mutation might happen and nothing happens at all. We don't ever even know it's there. So that's one example, that's one thing. So mutation is a change or a mistake in the DNA code, and it can be helpful, harmful, or have no effect. Okay. Now the next question is about the difference between an inherited and an acquired trait. So if you have an inherited trait, this is something you get from your parents. This is from your parents. So for example, those would be things like your eye color, okay, your hair color, mm -hmm. um, so things like that. Okay. An acquired trait is something that you gain during your life. So the best example there is like a scar. Okay, so that's say acquired trait would be like a scar. Okay. Or when you have braces, you're changing the shape of your teeth, that's an acquired trait. That's gonna stay with you for your lifetime. Okay, but you're gonna, it, but it, you gained it during your lifetime. Okay, so then we need to talk about like things that you, so acquired traits, let's make a little chart. Okay, so acquired, let's straighten that paper here, sorry. An acquired trait, be like being able to play a sport or an instrument okay. or something that you a scar or coloring your hair so if you change the coloring coloring to like a pink or a blue okay, those are acquired traits things that you learn okay. your inherited traits are things that you get from your parents so for example, you inherit your eye color, you inherit your hair color. Okay. Anything that happens to you during your life, you inherit your height, you inherit dimples. Okay. So anything that you inherit, you had from the time that you were born. If you acquire it, you gained it during your lifetime. So for example, if you break a bone, that was one of the examples on the test, if you break a bone, that's an acquired trait. You can't pass that acquired trait on to your children. So 0% of your children will have that trait in the next generation, okay? Because you can't pass on an acquired trait. So let's say that you get really good at soccer. You can't pass on that acquired trait to your offspring. Now, if you have brown eyes, you are going to pass on that trait to your offspring. Okay. So, for example, if you inherit getting your um, ears, you're being right-handed or left-handed, I write with my right hand, maybe some of you write with your left hand. Okay. So those are some things. Your ability to read and write and ride a bike, those are all acquired traits. You've gained them during your lifetime. The number of toes you have or how many fingers you have is an inherited trait. You got that from your parents, okay? So those are the two things, acquired versus inherited. Okay, acquired you gained during your lifetime, inherited 
you got from your parents. And then the other thing that's on this test is mutation. A mutation, again, is a change in the DNA. And mutations can be harmful, helpful, or have no effect. Okay.